G'day everyone, Mason's Paranormal Landscapes coming to you again from a new location. And here we are, the Waller East Anglican Cemetery. What a lovely looking cemetery this is. A little bit overgrown of course, and not much love or flowers by the looks, but uh, nonetheless, fantastic little gem here on the outskirts of Gawler. And, um, well, I just want to say, guys, that um, I haven't been on for a little while. I had any uploads because uh, my last uh, upload at Kersbrook, um, four minutes was missing. And so I up tried to upload it twice, and that same four minutes was missing each upload. So, well, whatever it means, whatever uh, happened with YouTube or with the video or the processing or the software, I decided to not upload it. So, for I've captured some, um, I had some really good stuff at the end of the last four minutes there. So, for whatever reason, not uploaded. So, I'm just going to keep it for archives. And I'm hoping to get a full upload of this cemetery here for you guys to watch and explore with me. So, um, yeah, this place established in uh, 18, uh, in the 1800s, 1850s, and, uh, a lot of old gravestones as you can see we're going to have a look around and get the spirit box out and see what we if we can hear anything so that's take a take a look guys let's have an explore okay guys here we are so the section's quite big we probably won't cover everything but just go for a little looky we'll cover this section for filming and then the next section uh over there we'll do a spirit box session so let's check it out uh, William Bassnet of Bassett Town who departed his life in 1859 wow and William son of the above age 76 you expect to see a lot of a lot of very old gravestones here guys as you can see Elizabeth Fizzell Edwin James honor secretary of the above union hmm Permanent Secretary 1910 to 1912. Wow. And we have um, FJ Fissol Trooper. Thank you for the work you've done for our country. So we'll have to be careful with snakes, guys, as well. It's quite dry around here. That's nice. George and Anne Martin. Hammond, born at Wingham, Kent, England, 75 years old. John Crump, 78, and Lois, 1922. It's funny because I also went to uh, an Anglican high school. I never visited an Anglican cemetery, actually, so this is my first time. I popped the Anglican Cherry Cemetery Virgin. <laughs> yes. It's very dry around here. Some nice ones here, look at this. We've got here, we've got John Clucas, Margaret. Isaac Kipwell and another Isaac Kipwell. 73 Holloway. Alfred and Hannah. William Barrett and Jane. White Lord Galley. Would have no idea where that is. <laughs> Margaret. Is anyone here that like to speak uh, feel free to do so if you're still hanging around here you can speak to me or into my camera here that enables me to hear your voice I come with the utmost respect and a desire to communicate a friendship with you it's a nice one there guys It's 
Quite a big cemetery actually. Got this lovely tree here, provides a bit of shade. Lots of Marys, as we see from the other videos and other cemeteries around the area. Marianne is especially a common name you'll see around the place. James Giles, 1903-78. Elizabeth Susan, wife of Archibald. But she was about 38 years old. Thomas Bednall, 1906. George Charles Feed. Apologies once again for the wind. The wind has started to pick up a bit. Uh, typical when we're out on explores, especially during the day. Just realised there's quite a few rows to go through to make things to go, go through pretty quickly. Harriet Mansom, 56, 1875. Joseph Mansom. Ellen Mary, only blood daughter of Richard Moore and Ellen Lewis. She was only 18 years old, 1888. So you're seeing the eights again. It's quite fair. This one, William Lewis, Hull Lewis. I always feel my spirit guides are with me when I go to cemeteries because quite often it sounds like, in my opinion, I can hear my name. Sometimes hearing back on the recording and on the box. Otto Albert Michael. What have we got here? Sarah Catherine and Edwin Burkitt from Ireland. Well, Edwin, I'm from Ireland as well, so we've got the blood in common there, my friend. <laughs> Another thing to know is we're quite near housing, so we might hear people's voices from there. It's an interesting area here. J.W. Cole and we have here Helen, wife of Herbert Payne, 30 years old little Geoffrey, 4 months it's a shame Herbert Payne, 42 hmm, that's an interesting one here guys who have we got here? Uh, someone from England For the little children to come on to me. Hmm. Very interesting. Here we've, got, here we've got the shaded part of the cemetery. Frederick John. James Frederick. 1911. Wasn't very old. Unmarked one here. Who's over there? We got Caroline, Emily, James, Elizabeth, Harris, and Annie, Mary. Hmm. Crunchy underfoot with the leaves. Minna. Myrtle, 48. Quite windy as you can see. Not much I can do about it. <laughs> Wish I could control the weather, but I can't. 
Sarah Ann, wife of William, and William, eldest son, 10 months, one year and 10 months. Commiserations, Sanderson family. Down the four. Uh, George, the size of this one here, over two meters tall, guys. Goes here, John Butterfield, Elizabeth, seventy. How about you guys, but I can feel um, like a stinging sensation on my arm at the moment. Might be mean I'm tapping into someone's energy possibly I don't know I can't explain it it's definitely not Sun I and mean, I'm not getting bitten by anything as you can see um, sometimes when I come to cemeteries I get this like stinging sensation on my body Wow what a what a what a crowd we have on this one Taylor family feel free to speak if you'd like to say something to me James, uh, Bright family, James Bright, Joyce Bright, and Walter. I feel off here, but because of the history, there's a lot of, yeah, size of, it's got a bit of a feel to it, for sure. Gent. Got some other old ones just scattered around here, guys. Quickly go through it and then we'll go to the other side and do a spirit box session. William Arling, Marianne Arling, see another Marianne. And little William James, two years old. Commiserations to the Arling family. Unmarked one here. We have a Herman Lettery, 20 years old, 1878, S native of Switzerland. Wow, hope you enjoyed Australia, Herman. Even if it was, even if it was for a brief time. Uh, who we got here? Owen Francis Fizzle. 59. And if I come over here, we have William H. Stowe, 32. Over there, we have Elizabeth Lundell, Wallace Lundell, Lucy, only nine months, and Thomas, 81. Alright, we'll just see who. He's on this side, quickly. Elizabeth Wood and her son John Wood. Alright. Check out this very quickly, then we'll get the spirit box out. Big unmarked one here, guys. I don't know who is in here. That's quite a big gated area for no gravestone to be in. Yeah, very interesting. We have Herbert Musgrave, 23, John Alfred, 33. And Catherine Clark, Thomas Clark, Mary Elizabeth Clark. Oh, let's look at this one here, guys. It's a really old looking one. So now someone on the other side here. Ah, yes. Stephen List, 61. Wow. And we'll just quickly see who's over here before we go to the next part of the video. George Paternoster.
20. Fedric Paternoster. 22. Wow. I guess they, I guess they were brothers. They died so close to age. Commiserations to you too. Alright guys, I think uh, that will do for the walk around. I think that was one section, but we'll do the spirit box over this section here. See what we can pick up. And uh, look at this overgrown area. Alright, so I'll get it out and we'll start the next session, guys. G'day guys, I'm back. So we're in the other section here. And what we'll do now is get PSB7 going in the modified mode, modified mode naturally, so I don't have to worry about volume or anything like that. So let's get it going. Hello, is anyone here with me today from the Gawler East Anglican Cemetery? My name's Mason Sullivan. connect with any of the residents here that would like to pass on a message maybe the um, Amelia Thomas or James George or Ellen Margaret even though she was eight months old <laughs> Spirits that are with me, you can also come through. William Pro, Susanna, would you like to come through and pass on any messages? Emily Marion, would you like to come through and say anything? Mm. Anyone would like to pass on any messages? the box I'm hiding in my hand. Not. You're not what? I heard that. I'm not what? Can you tell me please? Anyone from the cemetery that wants to come through? Did you used to work in Gawler? Did you come from a different part of England? Does it stop or something? Maybe William Home, Esther? You like to pass on any messages or come here to be a messenger to hear your voice? Cool. 
nothing like I know. There's just an Anna here. Sarah Lindor or Thomas William Lindor. Sorry to hear about your son. Would you like to say anything to me through the box? Can I have an answer of how many are with me, please? There's a nanny here. Oh, sound like hi or five. Hello there, who am I speaking to? Would you like to tell me your name and what you used to do? Them. It's very chat for snakes around here, guys. Did anyone work at the rail yards in Gawler? Or work at a hotel in Gawler. There's the two ants here. Mm hmm. Look at this one here. This is massive. Richard Holland, Margaret Holland. You have a beautiful gravestone here. Do you have anything to say about it? Hmm. Trying to figure out what's going on. There's a lady that's coming through here. Caroline, little John Ford, would you like to come through? Would you like to say anything through this box here? Oh. Another Caroline here, Caroline Hissy and Thomas Hissy. What was that? Faster. Grass is a bit precarious around here, guys. So I'm going to be careful. Another Edith here, little Edith. Are you still here? Who would like to speak for me? Anyone from this section here from the cemetery? Elizabeth Wells or Ada Margaret Wells would you like to come through to say anything or pass on any messages? Stephen. Stephen. I think I said Stephen is a something. Hmm. 
Thank you for coming through, spirits, and appreciate it. Voices coming through now, guys. Undoubtedly, a lot of it's radio, but I'm looking for relevant answers and some names to come through and answers, which is what we try to look for for evidence. Must quickly go to that tree. Beat it. Did you? Who said beat it? Who's that young gentleman I'm speaking to there? I'm gonna quickly go over to the trees, guys, and we'll do another, spend another five minutes, see if we can connect to anyone there. I feel drawn to that area. Sid? Yeah. Sit down? I sound like it said sit down. Why do you want me to sit down for? for? I quite enjoy walking, thank you. Out. Is there any residents in this section here? Would you like to connect to me and speak for the black box? I'll tell you one more time, my name is Mason and I come with a desire to communicate with you. Mm. Sound a little bit like my name there. Oh, it's hard. Any of the Laws family? Would you like to say anything? Thank you for coming through. Like I said Megan. How many are with me right now? Can I please have a number? said four. Okay, thank you for your validation. Interesting, interesting. Okay, Spirits, I'm about to turn my camera off. Is there anything else you'd like to say before I go? Hello. Hello. That's radio. Out. Out. So, hello, hollow, or hello and out. Interesting responses. Whoever said hello, before I turn this off, can you please tell me who your name is, please? Jen. 
head. Okay, thank you to the residents of the cemetery that came through. Appreciate your communication with me. And I bid you a good farewell. And I'll come back another time. Head again. Yes. It's like they always say, it's like they say, give up or give us. It's like they always want something. All right, I'm going to close the session now down, guys. G'day, everyone. Well, that's it from the Gawler East Anglican Cemetery. So, um, hopefully we'll listen back and hear anything or see if there's any relevancy to any of the questions. And uh, I thought it was quite interesting and, um, been here for about an hour now it's time to go um, getting a little bit of a slight um, nauseous feeling in my stomach I think the energies um, yeah I can just feel it it's time to go so um, I like to uh, say thank you for watching and uh, I hope everyone stays safe and well and love and light to all and I'll catch you on a very soon for some more exploration and hopefully have a night time video soon as well maybe even go live until then guys, take it easy, enjoy your days, and see you next time.